So that squirrel is going crazy. He's making a lot of noise, chasing something around. So how you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato, and you are watching Nature Now. So let me tell you, I was lucky enough to get out today and explore this beautiful woodland environment. And I found some cool stuff, which I'll show you in a minute. But by far, my favorite thing I came across today was this beautiful stream inhabited by dozens of my favorite damselfly, the Evity Jewelwing. I think you're going to really like this video because this is probably one of the most beautiful insects in our entire country. Come along. These are all bees, and they're, they're definitely busy. They burrow into the ground and lay their eggs there in little underground burrows. If I have the chance, I'll show you one. It's pretty cool. They're like maybe three quarters of an inch long. They're all over the place. This is a long jawed orb weaver. And while their jaws can sometimes look menacing, they are completely docile and harmless. I always find them around water, especially on docks. They can actually get kind of large, but they're still really dainty looking. The jaws on the males are what give them their name. They're actually used for mating and courting females. Although really common around here, garter snakes are always a welcome friend while exploring the woodlands. Have a look at these stunning gems. Ebony jewel wings are by far my favorite member of the Odonata. While they may not be as dramatic or exciting as some of the dragonfly species, jewel wings are simply nothing else but poetry in motion. Their name is rather appropriate. They are pure jewels, and to me, they are the supermodels of the insect world. This species is sexually dimorphic. The male's bodies are a stunning iridescent green, although they may appear in iridescent blue or even black at times, depending on the angle. And the females are a dark bluish green, lacking that metallic appearance. And let me tell you, a camera does these beauties no justice. All damselflies have two pairs of wings that are usually held above the body when at rest but this species is special. The wings of the males are an impressive jet black that is simply awe-inspiring. The female's wings are a dark amber, complete with a distinct white flare at the tips. Dark wings are a rare characteristic among Odonata. Just watching them dart and flutter about above the water's surface, to me, someone's thoughts of butterflies rather than that of a damselfly. Their dance is like an aerial ballet. While their flight is rather delicate and graceful, they take to the wing to dispute territory and to find suitors and court them. But you mustn't forget 
Jewel wings are still damselflies, which makes them predators. That means they also take to the wing to hunt and chase down their prey, which consists of various insect species above ponds and streams in eastern North America. If you look closely, you will notice long, thin barbs along the front two pairs of legs. Those barbs are hunting tools. When on the hunt, they'll sit on a perch and watch for their next meal to fly within range. Their eyes may not be as large as dragonflies, but they have keen vision nonetheless. When a prey presents itself, they set their sights on the food item, take flight, and chase it down. Bringing their legs forward allows the barbs to form a cage in which to scoop their prey right out of the air and take it back to the table. Their mouths are powerful machines, tearing and chopping up their prey and swallowing it in no time. As with most insects, jewel wings will mate in the summer. Having successfully attracted a female through what's known as a cross display, the male then courts her with a series of whirling his wings and hovering in front of her. When she is receptive, the male has special claspers at the end of his abdomen that he uses to clasp the female behind her head. The female curls her abdomen down to pick up sperm from the male's secondary reproductive organs at the base of the male's abdomen. Yeah, don't ask me about that one. This forms a rather appropriate heart position known by entomologists as a wheel. The male will continue to clasp the female while she lays eggs in the soft stems of aquatic plants. Those eggs will hatch within one to three weeks, bringing a new generation of ebony jewel wings into the world. So, if you found yourself wondering what the difference is between dragonflies and damselflies, and how to know by looking at them, click on the link to my dragons and damsels video right here.